In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up an automatic restart function on the ATV630 process drive. Um, now, keep in mind that the automatic restart feature only really works if you have a hardwire terminal controls. Uh, starting and stopping from the keypad with the start stop push buttons will require to reinstall or re uh, input the start command again along with the network controls it will also require to give the same bit command also upon a, a restart per se so that only really applies the automatic restart really only applies truly for hardware controls so the first thing you have to do at this point is to make sure that the function itself is turned on and then we'll, and then we'll talk about what actually needs to happen in general besides that function turning on to let you run without having to come back in front of the drive and restarting the drive again manually. So, first things first, in your main display, you want to go down to menu 5, complete settings, and then go down to air warning handling, all the way down. You want to enter on that. And the first sub menu here is auto fault reset. You want to enter on that. And from the factory, it's programmed to no assignment. So to change that, you have to press enter and scroll down to yes. Enter to continue on that. Now, it does give you one more parameter once you make it a yes. It lets you know the fault reset time of five minutes minimum. That's the minimum time. You can change that if you want to uh, 10 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, one hour, or un in unlimited, I guess, if you want to. And what that basically means is that that's the amount of time the drive will be allowed to attempt to try to restart the drive automatically. Uh, now that doesn't mean that it's going to let's say fail, retry, fail, retry over and over again. No, it's gonna basically if it fails once there's gonna be a small delay and then just gonna try it again. If there's a failure again it's gonna be a longer delay and then try again, and then a longer delay, and then try again. It's going to be basically delaying more and more and more between each try if it keeps failing. So if you really want to make it more than five minutes, you can, but normally five minutes is more than plenty in most applications. So that's the first thing. The second thing you have to do is make sure that your two-wire type is set to level control and is on transition from the factory. So what I mean by that is if you go back to menu five point, uh, it's usually five point, uh, uh, five, but it's regardless. You want to go into command and reference menu here under the complete settings. Once you're there, go down to two wire type, and it's on. It needs to be on level, and it's normally on transition. So we make sure you're on level control because if you don't make it level, if it powers up with a run command, and if it's in transition mode it will actually go to NSD status, meaning that it didn't like the fact that your drive powered up with a run command. It expected an off command to start with, and then we can reapply it. But of course, if you want to have an automatic restart, you do want to take off and run right away, which the level control does allow you to do that. So that's an important thing. So two wire type is level. And, um, and that's it for the programming, really, for those two parameters to make it work the way you want. Now I'll say one more thing, um, for the automatic restart to really fully work, the actual condition like a fault code or whatever have you has to go away. The fault code has to be able to be cleared by the drive. If it, if it cannot be cleared, if it's like a short circuit or something, uh, the drive cannot clear those. Not every single fault can be cleared automatically. Uh, there's a list in the back of the manual if you want to take a look at that. But the actual fault condition like a power outage it has to go away for the drive to restart on its own again. So let's just try to run this drive to test this out. So right now we've got a run command um, coming in on your terminal control. Our motor is spinning. And let's just go ahead and simulate a power outage by powering it down from the main source. All right, so our keypad and everything is going to go blank. You lost power. The run command is still enabled. Remember, the DI1 is still turned on, so that's important because your run command has to still be on there to be enabled to run, let you run it automatically. So next time you power it up right now, though, it should go to take off on its own accord. 
all right so the power is coming back up and it does so we have the uh, motor spinning here on the bottom here and I didn't have to re toggle the run command or anything so that's basically how you set up the automatic restart feature on the ATV 630 drive